Hey guys, I'm Chad with Take One Film and Video here in Nashville. I'm with my good friend Matt Serta with Big Picture Productions. Matt, how you doing, man? I'm doing real good. Yeah, Big Picture has been a friend of ours for a really long time. You guys, in fact, we used to share office space together even yeah. back in the day. So we go way back, and uh, you guys do a lot of touring video productions uh, for music, corporate, I guess, just about anything, really. Uh, a lot of fly pack systems and so forth. And uh, so anyway, uh, you guys came to us several years ago and wanted to kind of do something a little different with your camera situation and kind of go black magic. And I remember at that time, I'm like, black magic, but that's not a studio camera. But turns out, these can be studio cameras. Yep, that's correct. So, yeah, so anyway, we have, you guys had started out with this situation with uh, the Ursa Minis, is that right? Yeah, we start out with the Ursa Mini 4Ks. Okay, now, originally those did not have like a true broadcast setup, did they, or how did you guys start out with those? Did you did you have like, oh, okay, so for instance, when I think of broadcast cameras, I think of, you know, I've got tally lights, I have returns, I have all the things that I would expect out of a normal, you know, broadcast right. studio camera setup. How did you guys do the early generation of, of Ursus? Uh, it was definitely a little interesting starting out. We actually bought them before, you know, they even had tally or iris control from them. So we uh, we were very, very early adopters, but we, uh, we managed to make it work for a little bit, and they really were able to improve a lot of their software and firmware, and uh, recently they came out with their broadcast cameras, which had uh, fiber control and CCUs built into them, and that's really allowed us to really expand our options with them. Well, that's kind of the reason I actually wanted to come by today, because you guys called me and you guys said, hey, Chad, can you hook me up? We need some new cameras. We need some new studio stuff. So I thought this might be a good time to talk about this because truthfully, this is kind of new to me too. So I'm actually learning here and I, I figured there's a lot of other people that may not even realize that their Ursa might be broadcast or multi-camera capable. So I wanted to kind of show that a little bit today. Uh, in fact, we've got one of them right here. The uh, This is one of your existing Ursas that you have going on here. Yep. So basically, it looks like a standard broadcast camera. They now come with the B4 mount. Yep. For for a standard two third inch, and that's um, the broadcast Ursa broadcast. Here's the uh, the Black Magic Ursa broadcast. This is the one that uh, still in the box here. Yep. And uh, so those all come standard with B4. Yep, they come standard now. The originals you had you would you could buy a B4 mount for them, but there would be some optic issues with them at times. So now it's a native B4 mount and. It's, uh, it's really improved the quality. And now on the back here, you guys have, uh, uh, these things have standard Simpty optical fiber. Yeah. Uh, like you would find actually on any high-end broadcast camera. Yeah, exactly. So from this point all the way back to the rack, it's just one Simpty cable. That takes care of your power. It takes care of all your twos and froms, right? You don't yep. have to loom cables down it anymore. Is that yep. correct? That's, that's absolutely correct. And uh, it even has a, um, two extra return video slots uh, on the back of the fiber unit that you can send virtually anything you want. So it's really helpful in corporate shows for front of house monitors and other things. Instead of having to run hundreds of feet of cable, you just can pop right into a producer's monitor you know, with a 25-foot cable. That's awesome. Now, so this is an additional part that does not come with the Ursa Broadcast, right? So that's, that's something we can we can show here. So when we did this order for you, uh, we did the camera, obviously, but then we had the studio fiber converters and the camera fiber converters, which you actually have some installed on this pack. We can show that now and yep. show kind of what that looks like. But it's basically your CCU yep. for the camera. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, are these capable, I guess, with standard? Clearcom, RTS? Yep, they have um, standard uh, DB25 connectors on the back of the CCU, and they have selectable, um, you can actually plug in two different intercoms, um, like a, an engineering and a production, or have two different people operating it or operating certain parts, uh, selecting your volume and uh, program input, and so it's, uh, they've Pack some versatility into it. And you got, of course, you've got your uh, standard studio viewfinder or an eyepiece that you can put on here, I guess, depending on how yep. your camera's configured. That's very cool. I'm gonna set this back here. So your system here is a fairly broad, uh, Blackmagic-centric system. Yep. So I'm a video guy by trade, and, and you know this looks very familiar. This is not something I would typically expect you know, with an Ursa-type camera, but these are very, um, 
This looks like a typical broadcast video setup that I would find in any high-end production truck. Yeah. And it's kind of a four-in-one here. It's kind of interesting, but it's all there. So from a shading position, you can basically have full control of the camera from here. Can you get into your menus and what all can you do or what kind of limitations does this yeah. unit have? Uh, it really has all of your you know, standard engineering things. Mm -hmm. um, the Most of the deep menu functions, you'll still need to go through the software or from the camera itself, either way. But, you know, all of your pedestal, all of your color temperature, gain, you can all control from here now. Now, looking at the rest of your system, you guys have the Atom. Uh, studio, or well, it's Atom 1ME with yep. the broadcast panel, yep. which is very cool. Um, and you've got the uh, Ultra Studio Minis. Uh, you've got the uh, the recorders here. Now, tell me about 4K, because that's something that some people are curious about. Is this system or is this setup 4K capable? Yeah, it's absolutely 4K ready with the flip of a switch. The cameras are all able to run in 4K. The switcher, you know, hit one button and whatever resolution you want. That's really cool. Well, if you guys have any questions about Blackmagic Ursa or how to build a broadcast studio system with your Blackmagic cameras, give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about that. We'd love to answer your questions. Our number is 1-877-81-TAKE-1. You can also email us at mail at takeone.tv. Well, thank you so much, man. It's good to see you. And yeah. good luck with the tour that you got going out here. It's pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Awesome. Thank you.